Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk about an issue that's currently happening with enabling 120 FPS using PIXL. I'll go over what the bug is and how to work around it. So let's get started. First, let me explain the issue. I believe the problem started with the update released around June 12. In my case, I was able to play the game right after the update, so it didn't seem like a problem at first. But around midnight on June 13, I started getting kicked out of matches as soon as I joined. Just like this. During one of my live streams, I asked viewers if anyone else was experiencing the same issue. Since no one reported having the same problem, I initially thought it might be a limited or device-specific issue. To test that theory, I tried it on several different devices, Oppo Pad for Pro, Red Magic 10 Pro, and Poco F6. And the same issue occurred on all of them. They all run Android 14 or 15, so it's still unclear whether older devices have the same issue. Now, let's talk about the workaround. If you've already figured it out, good on you. Yes, the fix involves using multiple accounts instead of PIXL to enable 120 FPS. You can still play at 120 FPS using this method. I've already explained this process in detail in another video, so I'll keep things short here. You can find the link to that video in the description, so be sure to check it out. Here's a quick walkthrough. Uninstall both PIXL and Fortnite. Just go ahead and remove them. Then, install Fortnite again from the Epic Games Store. Once it's done, launch it. You'll see a download screen. Once you get there, you can close it. Next, install the following three apps. Multiple accounts. Firefox or another browser like Samsung Internet Browser. Root Browser. Just make sure to use a browser other than your default one. Download links for multiple accounts and root browser are in the description. Install them from there. Once all three are installed, open multiple accounts. Tap the plus button in the lower right corner and add Fortnite, Firefox, and root browser. Then, launch Fortnite from inside multiple accounts. Wait for the download to complete. When you reach the login screen, follow the usual login steps. Important, when the login pop-up appears, make sure to select Firefox with multiple accounts in the title. If the game doesn't proceed past the login screen even after signing in, try updating multiple accounts from the Play Store and try again. Once you're in the lobby, go to settings and adjust all your graphic settings and others like FPS display options now. Do not open this menu after enabling 120 FPS, or it will reset. When you're done, close Fortnite completely. Now, open Root Browser from multiple accounts. You can ignore any messages that pop up at launch. Tap the home icon in the top left to go to the root directory. Find and open the game user settings.ini file just like you see here.
Open it as a text file, find the line that says Mobile FPS Mode, and change its value to 120. Once that's done, tap the Save icon in the top right to overwrite the file. Now you're done! 120 FPS is now enabled. Reopen Fortnite through multiple accounts. and try jumping into creative or another mode to test it out. You should now see that it's running at 120 FPS. Also, unlike with PIXL, you won't get kicked from matches after a few minutes. If this workaround worked for you, please let me know in the comments what device and Android version you're using. It really helps. That's it for today's video. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.